Hey, this is Arnav. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how blockchain technology is changing real estate industry. So I get this question quite a lot in which people ask me about the application of blockchain in their own specific industry, uh, ranging from supply chain to logistics to healthcare and to real estate, mainly because people want to launch their own blockchain product and do an IC and raise a shit ton of money. And uh, so to cater to that audience, I am plan I've planned to uh, talk about the various applications of blockchain uh, in various business sectors. And uh, today I'm going to talk about the application of blockchain in real estate industry. Um, and I, I found this article on Investopedia to be really helpful and which had some really key points regarding the same. And I'll talk about some real applications of how people are doing blockchain and real estate like this this company called atlant how ubiquity is doing it how dubai government is using blockchain and real estate how chronicled is doing blockchain and real estate and why blockchain is being used in real estate so yeah without wasting any time let's understand how blockchain is changing real estate industry so if, in order to understand that we first need to understand that what the fuck is blockchain so blockchain is just a way of actually steering records it's a sort of a database and it's a way of uh, storing transactional record in a decentralized distributed and transparent manner and uh, there are actually two types mainly two types of blockchains public and permissioned and uh, in, in a public blockchain uh, most people when they talk about a blockchain they refer to this type of blockchain which is a public blockchain and what is the characteristic of a public blockchain is that anyone can be a verifier that is anyone can be a miner and they can verify other people's transactions and anyone can transact so everyone can transact to anyone in the throughout the network so that is these are the characteristics of a public blockchain and anyone can see all the transactions that have taken place in the entire history of the network and so an example of a public blockchain is the bitcoin blockchain so everyone can see all the transactions that everyone is every other person is doing and anyone can become a miner and start mining and anyone can open an account okay so that is the thing with public blockchain then the second type of blockchain is a permission blockchain in which there are certain limitations and rules specified uh, regarding who can verify transactions and maybe in certain cases like who can transact and to whom so maybe person a can transact to b but person a can't transact to person c so such kind of rules also exist in a permission blockchain it is sort of a semi blockchain and uh, most people uh, like many people think that these are not blockchains real blockchains in uh, they are not real blockchains but i think they also are sort of a blockchain solution and uh, so in real estate there the applic there's application of public blockchain and there's application of permission blockchain as well um, and we'll cover the uh, these applications one by one so the first application is application of uh, tokenized economics in real estate and this is an application of public blockchain and the second is the using the proper proper properties of immutability and transparency of a blockchain and this is the second application that is these are the applications of permission blockchains and these are uh, used for storing land records and in eliminating middlemen etc in the real estate industry okay so let's uh, go down each application one by one uh, so the first application is application of tokenized economics in real estate so what that means is um that what we use is we use the uh, concept of smart contracts in blockchain platforms and allow assets like real estate to be tokenized and be traded like uh, cryptos like bitcoin and ethereum okay um and uh, what happens is we tokenize real index properties and these assets can be traded much, much like stocks and on an exchange and transactions are done online okay everything is online and uh, how this is happening is like this this company called atlant and what it allows is it allows sellers to tokenize assets and these they can hand hand those assets like in a stock sale and liquidate the, those assets through an exchange uh, like a platform which is usually an exchange and uh, in uh, so when they liquidate their assets in return the people who are buying those assets they pay in fiat currency like rupee or dollar or they uh, pay in like cryptos like bitcoin and ethereum and they get a percentage of the property so let's understand this in a more depth so there's this uh, company called atlant and what they do is uh, say you have a building and say you have a mall okay and you want to tokenize that mall and sell it to multiple people okay so what you will do is you will go to the atlant company and you would say atlant please help me in uh, doing this thing 
um, and what Atlant will do is Atlant will buy your company for you for maybe say uh, like in this one you say you have a mall called good good mall mall and it is they buy it at 25 million dollars uh, by uh, using a corporation commonly used in commercial real estate so they'll buy that through that corporation okay and they will own the good mall good mall property okay and then what will they do is maybe they will calculate all the area that belongs to the good mall property so say the whole good mall property is around a million millimeter square okay then they will uh, assign that one millimeter square is equal to one token okay so like they will set the price like one token equal to one millimeter square and now what they can do is they can sell these tokens individually and uh, so that is how they pl are planning to do these things and how this is beneficial is that say you have a big building okay so a big building will have various uh, other small components like it will have many floors it will have shops or other such small inns okay so uh, if someone say likes your building and likes your concept and likes the place where your building is located and sees an investment opportunity so in order to invest in your building they would have to buy a whole shop or maybe they would have to buy one floor that would require a lot of investment so say if the whole building is 25 million dollars that would require an investment of say a uh, million dollars okay but um, say you don't have that much money with you so what do you do so you can't do anything right now you can't buy a certain fraction of the building like that so what this this uh, tokenization of the building allows is it allows to divide the building in many parts like uh, in this case into million parts and you could sell those million parts individually to a wide range of investors so now say i had only uh, 10 ten thousand dollars with me so now i would be able to invest by buying ten thousand tokens of your building and because i saw something in your building and i saw that this location is really nice so that is how this is good for real estate and because it opens a lot of uh, it opens the real estate industry to a lot of more investments and uh, like so with this you you can invest in 10 buildings simultaneously in 10 properties simultaneously or maybe in 50 properties simultaneously so that is a really important and interesting use case that has come out uh, around blockchain and uh, um, real estate and why blockchain ha has enabled these uh, use cases is because of the properties of uh, like anyone can become a part like anyone can buy everything is transparent these properties are needed if you want to be open to so many type of investors okay and uh, yeah this is all uh, regarding that and uh, what these guys do is the Atlant guys they list the Atlant token on a decent on an exchange so these so uh, when yes, you have, when you, a person has a building they would give a token they would assign a whole token to that building and say Atlant has 50 such buildings so there will be 50 tokens that are being sold on an exchange and you can choose um, any token of your liking depending on the building of your liking that you want to buy and uh, yeah this is all and even that people can uh, you can even send sell dividends to people um, in this case like uh, if say the building has some clause like all the profits would be divided among the token holders holders so you can even sell uh, dividends among uh, the token holders in this scenario okay so this was all regarding the application of tokenized economics and public blockchain in uh, e real estate then moving on to the second uh, type of application which involves the permission blockchain use case what that means is um, that you would uh, that is the applications are in actually land records and in eliminating middleman etc and uh, what this allows is like i'll show this dubai government uh, initiative so what the dubai government is doing is they are trying to put all the government documents on a blockchain by 2020 and what they are planning to do is they uh, by using blockchain they want to allow all investors residing in dubai and the world to verify property that is backed by timestamp signatures enhancing the accuracy of data credibility of investment transactions the transparency and clarity of the market okay so they want to be as open as possible they want they what they are planning to do is they want to uh, make a make an initiative start an initiative in which all the records are visible to everyone all the transactions say i sold my property to someone else you sold the property to someone else 
all this are on a public blockchain and which is visible to everyone so even someone in us someone in europe can see who has which property what's the price of a current property and what what was the price at which it was, was sold etc so that is what they are planning to do and uh, they are planning to uh, even put on other solutions like they are planning to put renters um, and electrical water and telecommunication utilities as well on the blockchain so what will happen is what they are uh, in short what they are planning to do is they, they are trying to make the system transparent and the property they are use, is using in using is immutability and uh, the transparency um, and what what how this translates into the whole technical aspect is uh, say in blockchain the thing is uh, we are all blockchain is just a way of storing records okay so if say we are on block number 91 in the blockchain so everyone is working on adding transactions to this block and adding this block to the whole existing blockchain right now okay and uh, if someone wants to change something say in block number 74 so what that guy would need to do is he would need to change all the records in blo uh, this block number 74 then he would need to change records and update these blocks as well uh, because all these are linked together so he would need to update this block this block this block from 74 to 90 he would need to update all the blocks and he would need to do that faster than all the other people uh, that are doing it and uh, before other people finish working on the 91st block which is almost impossible to do in a blockchain based system and uh, what what in a permission blockchain usually we have is 10 to 15 people who are verifying the transaction so uh, in order to someone in order for someone to be able to do such a thing they would need to have more than 50 percent of the computation power so if say the system of is of 10 computers he would need around more than six five people five computers that is six or more computers uh, in order to do such a thing which is very difficult to do and uh, so <clears throat> that is how blockchain is used in such a systems and uh, yeah this is all and this there's this company called ubiquity who is providing software as a service for storing uh, blockchain records and uh, i think they're they are providing solution to various governments and big big companies for storing these land record based uh, systems on a blockchain maybe uh, say all uh, in maybe in local governments and even in national governments okay so that was all regarding uh, blockchain in uh, uh, various application of blockchain in real estate in public and uh, permission blockchains and uh, I wanted to show this video as well so there was this video posted by the Chronicle team in which they are registering this land record deed on a blockchain okay and they are using ethereum's quorum blockchain for the same example uh, the title deed uh, we put our um, we put it over here so let me try to register so what they have is they have this crypto seal that they have developed which is a hardware IoT device and what they do is the guy scans the crypto seal with his phone and this uh, deed then re gets registered to his account and now he can um, like this is now put on the blockchain which is visible to everyone and all the like it is registered that this land deed with a certain key is uh, now registered to this guy and when this guy is now going to sell this property thus he he would actually give away maybe uh, he would have to sign a digital signature etc and uh, sell sell that give that key give that item to the person uh, send that item to a specific address and then this land deed would actually be, belong to that person and uh, he would be given this certificate as well and he might have to do some other scanning as well so this is all uh, this this is a solution that is developed by the chronicle team and it is being used currently as well and they even have solutions for gold and uh, making other supply chains more transparent yeah so uh, this was all regarding real estate and blockchain hope you learned something and uh, please like the video if you learned something and subscribe to the channel or future videos in bitcoin blockchain ethereum and other cryptocurrencies and uh, i would even appreciate us uh, a donation in ether if you like my content because it helps me keep going okay bye bye